Uh, hello everyone. Uh, this video is the part of my uh, series on uh, Docker deployment in the public cloud. In this video, we'll talk about uh, deploying the uh, the multi-container routing application, the Google Container Engine. Uh, for this, what I have done is uh, taken the Docker Compose file of the routing application, and I've used the uh, Compose tool uh, to convert it into the uh, Kubernetes task definition format and I have uh, deployed using you know kubectl uh, Google Container Engine uses Kubernetes as the orchestration engine with Docker as the runtime uh, so uh, in terms of the value add uh, what Google Container Engine provides for Kubernetes is that it manages all the Kubernetes installation uh, including cluster management and it integrates well with other Google Compute infrastructure uh, to try out this, uh, the prerequisites you need a Google Cloud account uh, to manage, uh, you know, the Google Cloud. Either you can use the G Cloud CLI or from the dashboard, and then uh, to manage the Kubernetes, uh, you know, services and the deployments, you would need the uh, Kube Kubectl tool. So basically, there are, uh, you know, in summary, there are two steps. One is the creating the cluster. Uh, so we here we create. Uh, the cluster using the G Cloud, uh, so we can specify the mission type and the uh, number of nodes. So this will also, uh, you know, install the necessary uh, Kubernetes components here. All the Kubernetes components like API server, replication controller, all that, uh, you know, the Kubernetes blocks uh, in each of these nodes, everything gets automatically created as part of this command. Uh, so after the creation of the cluster, we can see that you know, since we specify the number of nodes as two, uh, we can see the cluster available here. And to SSH into node into any of the nodes, we can use the compute SSH. The second step would be the uh, uh, use of the uh, converting the voting app compose file into the Kubernetes format. So here, uh, you know, so this is basically the uh, uh, the, the Docker voting. Uh, YAML file uh, which is in the compose format uh, so what uh, I have done is uh, I took the base uh, compose format which has these uh, five services and just note that the version type is 2 because uh, uh, the version type uh, 3 is not uh, supported by the uh, you know the compose tool uh, that we use for conversion uh, so one thing that I've added here is the uh, the service type load balancer for the services that are exposed to the out outside world, uh, the vote app as well as the result have those exposed outside. So, you know, I have added the compose service type load balancer. And uh, once uh, we have, uh, you know, the base compose file, then uh, we can convert the uh, compose file into the Kubernetes uh, using uh, this, you know, compose uh, command. And now if we look uh, here, so basically uh, this is the, after the conversion, these are the set of files that get automatically created. So for each of the servers, we have a deployment file as well as a service file. So let's look at the vote deployment file. Uh, so this has, uh, you know, specify the number of replicas as one, what is the container image and what is the port on which uh, the uh, port on which uh, the application is running. And then similarly, if you look at the uh, the service associated with this uh, port, so here uh, we can see that you know what is the port that is exposed outside. And another important thing to note is the the type load balancer. Uh, so basically, what this would do is uh, when we run this in uh, using kubectl, when we create this service it automatically creates a load balancer on the Google Container Engine and connects it to this service that we created here. So I have tried this out. Uh, so I already have a cluster created. So uh, just walk you through what I did. Um, so here, um, basically I created the cluster specifying the number of nodes as two. And then uh, when I create, looked at the number of nodes, I see the two nodes that got created. And uh, so here I created the uh, uh, the service itself uh, using the converted task definition files. 
and uh, basically now if we look at the uh, services okay this was while it was uh, still started up so okay so now here we can check that you know all the services are up and for two of the services which is the result on the vote there is an external ip that is exposed on port 5000 and uh, 5001 so now uh, to access the service access the kubernetes dashboard itself uh, what I have done is, you know, I've done this kubectl proxy. So this exposes the dashboard on our local uh, local uh, port on our browser. So here I have the dashboard here. So if I go to the deployments here, uh, I should see, uh, you know, the, the five deployments. And I should also see the services. And so here we can see the services that is created. Uh, so basically this Kubernetes is a system uh, service that gets created all the other or the the services associated with the application and we can see that result and the vote have an external endpoints and these are accessible uh, you know directly through the external world so we can click on this and you know we can see that th this goes to the uh, you know the voting and the uh, the result service so here I have logged into the Google Cloud Platform console so we can uh, you know check uh, basically the corresponding VMs uh, uh, that have been created. So one thing to note is uh, with Google Container Engine, the cluster management is done with the Google Compute Engine uh, interface, and the container management is done using either kubectl or the dashboard. So here we can see the two instances that we had created. Um, then let's look at uh, the load balancer that uh, that is created, and this load balancer uh, gets created automatically. Uh, you know, based on the uh, the service type that we mentioned in the task definition file. Uh, okay, so here we can see three load balances. Two are uh, created for the uh, the service that we have uh, exposed. So here we can say uh, this is the uh, the result application which is exposed on port five thousand one, and uh, this is the uh, vote application that is exposed on port five thousand. So once you're you know uh, done. Uh, with your uh, service creation and playing around with it, you can uh, delete the, uh, the complete uh, deploy deployment using uh, the kubectl delete and to delete the cluster itself, you can uh, use this command. Uh, thanks for watching.